Alright, it's on. Um, this video. I think this is the fourth, third maybe? Uh, it's either the third or the fourth video of me, um, playing as the Kingdom of Sus. Uh, don't mind whatever this thing is. I, I don't think that, that, that matters. Uh, don't look into that. Yeah, the, that other save didn't matter. No one needs to know what that is. No one needs it. But, um, anyways, we're, uh, gonna continue playing as the Kingdom of Sus. And we're pretty close to the number one status of Great Power. But, uh, hopefully we can hit that in this video. And it's a shame I couldn't get in the door this province here. From, uh, Morocco or whatever had it. But, sadly, there's no going back for it now. Unless we pay Spain to beat up Portugal, then we can. In fact, you know what? I might just do that. I'm gonna pay Spain to beat up Portugal. That's it. And then I'm gonna finally get in the door. Hopefully this will be good enough to take down the door. I should steal some of their islands, too. Yeah, I could steal some of their islands. Alright, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal some of their islands. And... I'm going to pay Spain to beat them up. I'm just going to disband this. I wonder if I could steal those islands with only 800 troops. Although, if we train any more, we're going to be in more debt, so... Oh, wait, I need money first. Well, it looks like Tunis is going to be more of a threat. But, uh, we'll take care of that when it's needed. For now, though, let's just pay Spain to kill Portugal. Oh, wait, Tunis is invading. Ooh, I hope that's not good. It doesn't seem like they're succeeding, though, so they should be able to beat up Portugal successfully. There's a lot of stuff going on inside. I should probably be out there, but nope. I'm playing as sus. And it, it's... I honestly thought this would be much more boring, but this is actually kind of fun. Sus is pretty cool. It looks like one of our island invasions just failed. That sucks. This won't, though. I'm gonna send this large amount of troops out to the sea to steal the islands. And hopefully Spain can beat up Portugal. And, well, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Even if we don't get, if even if we don't manage to get any of the islands, we'll still get an adore in this tiny top providence above Tangier, which I don't know. That's sort of a win. There's a loud dog outside. I'm gonna invade with that. That should be that should be able to get, at least get one of the islands. The heck, I don't want to see that. All right, yeah, we can totally get this island. I just gotta build a port here. And uh, yeah, it looks like Spain's gonna win, so we don't have to worry about Portugal. Oh wait, there's already a port there. Alright, cool. Let's go get these other islands then. And be strong. I would have liked to get the canaries though. The canaries would have been good. But I think Portugal's lands are much better. Maybe I could do something incredibly cursed and steal a small, tiny mainland Portuguese providence. I could do that. There's a port on that island. 
I maybe could. It'd be cursed, but I think I'm willing to do it. It will, it's going to be incredibly cursed if I do that. But, you know, I'm going to try it. Even though I don't like being cor cursed. I almost said cursed. Looks like we're going to get one of these top providences if Spain doesn't get them all. I could cheat to increase my chances of getting one of those providences, but nope. This is a non-cheating playthrough as the Kingdom of Sus. Now, it looks like I might have to steal a small one, though, or one of the lower Portuguese providences. But uh, it looks like we'll be able to do that anyways. Alright, I'm probably going to land at uh, this thing right here. This thing or that thing. And it's going to be mine. Lisbon would have been nice though, but it's the best we can do right here. And it worked. Maybe I could sneak a second one. I bet we can. This is going to be so cursed. If I can get this in the peace deals, it's going to be really cursed. And we most likely are going to be able to get some uh, this lands here in the peace deals. Can I get all this? I think I can. I think I can. Oh my god, this is going to be the the money I need. There's something on Discord, to, too. Alright, yeah, we got it. Portugal's dead. We may not have got Lisbon, but we made the map ten times more cursed. Oh, I think I might have to make a sacrifice. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get all the mainland providences, but we're at least going to get one, and I'm going to choose Porto. I think that's how you say it. Actually, no, I'm going to sacrifice some of these islands for another one. Can I? I could, but it would be incredibly cursed if I did. Or I could sort of sacrifice this tiny thing, but that'd be, you know, cursed. So I think just having Porto would be fine. I take the islands and, yeah, cool. Oh yeah, that's cursed. That is incredibly cursed, but now we're we're much closer to being a great power now. And this will increase our odds against Tunis, or Tunis, whatever this thing is. Yeah, it's Tunis. I'm going to pay Fezan to invade them. And hopefully I can build a great enough army to take them out. Anyways, I want to disband this stuff. And now I need to get those freshly taken Portuguese lands assimilated. The Ottomans are fighting rebels. It's always fun to see rebels in this game, because they usually never work, but when they do, they spawn in something crazy. It's pretty cool. Although they usually spawn something completely random, but it's sort of cool. But if you want to keep maps nice, I'd try to, you know, fight the rebels. Because the maps aren't going to make any sense if you let the rebels win in this game. I'm sure there's another game where, you know, the rebels could win and the maps would look maybe nicer. But, I don't know. Right now, um, wait. Yeah, we're pretty much Morocco right now. Except if Morocco had a colonial empire that was disgusting. But overall, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We just gotta take care of Tunis next. And then we'll probably be a great power. And I gotta get my revenge on Dahomey. Forgot about that. I might make that its own video. Just a big montage of me getting revenge on Dahomey. Or some sort of a training montage on defeating Dahomey or something like that. Hopefully that, you know, goes well or some. even if I do that. That's a good idea, I might. 
I'm gonna start now preparing to defeat Tunis. And after they're gone, uh, I'll most likely be a great power by then. What's that? Algiers? That's a nice looking flag. Much better than Tlemcen. I might do a playthrough on Algiers. It's weird. But, uh, yeah, it looks like Tunis. Uh, Tunis is sus. Or Castile sus. One of those. If Portugal was still here, it. Oh wait, I can't speak. If Portugal was still here, it would be Portugal sus. One of those. Alright, I'm gonna defeat Tunis next. And we're sort of getting the money for that. Wait, what? Oh, I see. They're at war with Spain. Well, I got an idea. I should put a small little sea army here. Or maybe a big sea army that just land at their capital. And sort of just, I don't know, troll them a bit with that if that wins. And it'll damage them if it loses because, you know, they have to defend their capital and stuff. You know, that isn't that bad. Maybe I can use this. Oh, I should beat up Spain. I should pay someone to invade Spain and then beat them up. Maybe. It'd be a good excuse to get the Canary Islands, which is always really satisfying for me for some reason. Nah, I'm not going to do it. Spain's cool. I know something that's cursed. In order to form Spain in this game, you need to have the Netherlands. That doesn't really make much sense, but in history, Spain actually did own the Netherlands. But it doesn't make sense that you need the Netherlands to form Spain. Like, that doesn't make sense at all. <coughs> and France already exists. You could form France in this game, but France already exists. A lot of stuff here doesn't matter. Uh, I can't speak. A lot of stuff here just doesn't really make sense. The only thing that does make sense, though, is the Byzantine Empire being able to form Rome. That really does make sense. If a, if a, I can't speak. If some people don't know about Byzantine history, then they're probably going to be like, "Oh, how could the Byzantines form Rome?" But it makes sense. Because the Byzantine Empire was Rome at some point. But, um, yeah, now they're not. I might do a history on the Byzantine Empire. Eventually. Because, uh, Byzantium was cool. They were, uh, although I gotta say, the Ottomans had a much better state than the Byzantine Empire. Their empire was, it just looked cooler. Although, Byzantium is still best, but the Ottomans look cool with their onion hats and fancy cannons and swords and stuff like that. Also, they conquered Tunis, so who couldn't think that they're, too, they're cool? Alright, I think we have enough money now. Nah, I'll wait till 30. 35. When I'm at 35,000 gold or whatever it is, I'll, uh, I'll invade Tunis, and that's coming up. I want to prioritize this land here in Algeria, or that's behind my lines here, because I sort of want to use it as a, I don't know, sort of a flank or something. Something like that. I also might be doing, you know, maybe a few playthroughs in uh, Victoria 2 or Hoi 4, because they're pretty cool map games as well. Another cool series I could do is I could check out, you know, cool map games on the Play Store that are true gems among 
ad-filled trash. Because that's pretty much all the Play Store is right now, is ad-filled trash. But there's a few gems that you can find in it. There's a few gem mobile games that are free. A lot of them you have to pay for, but some are free. And I'll probably do a series on a few of those, but we're at 36,000 now, and I'm going to prepare an army. It's a shame, though, because my state is crippled because it doesn't have enough movement points. I have enough movement points to conscript about or train two armies. Like, look at this. I'm already out of movement points. That is trash for movement points. Sus is terrible with movement points. That's almost crippling if you don't have cheats, or you're not using cheats. But I'm here, and I'm pretty much almost a great power, so I guess it's possible to, you know, form an empire as sus. I want everything to be at a thousand. Are there any troops stranded on these islands? No. I want a thousand troops in each of my providences bordering uh, Tunis. Alright, maybe not a thousand, but we'll get close to a thousand. No, I'm not going to take any loans. This desert providence right here is not going to have a thousand troops. That's a shame. But we'll get close to a thousand. Alright, let's pay Fazan now. Declare war. save right here and hopefully this works out it better because you know sort of uh you know hoping on this and my state's already in almost crippling debt I say almost so we can pretty much recover from this but it'd be a shame if we didn't and it looks like Spain's invading, too. What a perfect time. Yeah, I think we won. Tennis is in a really bad spot right now. We won. <laughs> did I have more movement points there? I could have swore I did, because I moved all of these armies. And really, I could only move like two times before. That's weird. Well, boys, we won. Look at that great power status increase. Yeah, we won. Spain invaded at the perfect time. And with Tunis invading from the south, it's basically... We're, we're unstoppable. Me, Spain, and Tunis. That's the bro gang. Tunis is, wait, that's, did I say Tunis? No, we're invading Tunis. Tunis is going to die. Oh, hey, there's rats over here. Oh, they're fine. Getting quite feisty. I'll show them off in a video. They like to get feisty with each other sometimes. But, yeah, they're fine. Uh oh. Spain, you weren't supposed to get pushed back there. Now I have to worry about getting pushed from. What is that? Stieft? Stieft? Looks like Stieft. It's a funny name. The shame encirclements don't exist in this game. Because there would be some juicy Hoi 4 encirclements. If. Um, encirclements didn't exist in this game. This may not be Hoi 4, but they would be juicy encirclements. 
if they did, because I've gotten a few of them. They're, they're pretty difficult to perform in this game, but it's possible. And when they are performed in this game, they're juicy. Oh, it looks like Fazan died. Uh oh, that's actually pretty bad, because when Fazan's dead, Tunis is going to get their main armies here, and then they're going to push into us. It looks like they're already ready. That isn't good. Yeah, this looks pretty bad. I think we're going to start getting pushed back. If this, if, if the, I can't speak. If this attack right here fails, I think we're dead. We might not be though. We're looking pretty good right now, and it looks like I think we won. Their attack failed. It looks like all they have to fight from is their occupied bits of land in Fazan, which that's a shame. Now we have to finish off the mainland bits of them. Actually, I think I can just do this. Oh, I can't. There's a thing in this game. It's not a glitch at all. I think they actually put it in on purpose, but... There's a an exploit you can do in this game where if you're fighting an enemy that you're not really winning against, and you have enough, um... What are they called? Providence points or whatever they're called in this game? To vassalize them, you could vassalize them, and you won't get a peace treaty, so you don't have to wait, like you could normally vassalize people with altaniums. But instead, you don't have to wait, and you could just annex them if you have enough troops. I, it's a pretty, it's it's basically an exploit. I'll actually show you guys here, because I want to annex all of Tunis. Oh, nice, we get a new subscriber. Thank you, Dark Mind. That's a uh, very nice of you, because... Oh, that's not good. Wait, no, I think we can beat that. Yeah, we did. Alright, I'll show you this exploit here. Ah, uh, wait. Yeah, I can do it. Alright. Hopefully I have enough troops for this. Yeah, we do. Alright, I just did the thing with Tunis. And now look at this. Tunis is my vassal. I'm going to send some installs to him. And I don't have a peace treaty right now. So, I could just do this. And, I, oh, I don't have enough troops. Alright, hold on. I need a few more troops to do this. I'll take a loan, who cares. We won anyway, so we can just go bankrupt now. And I'm going to take... I can conscript a few troops, and then I'm just going to annex all of Tunis. I just needed to conscript a few more troops. Even if this doesn't work, I still have Tunis vassalized. So they're going to die anyways. Oh yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. Sus stretches along the North African coastline. As we're not even close, to, we're pretty close to now being great power. Spain, that's my property. Gotta get out of there. Oh, Spain. Oh, that's... Oh, that was disgusting. That was a disgusting ex disgrace, Spain. Spain, you cock-blocked me from tr Tunis. They cock-blocked me from Tripoli. I don't mean to be, you know, a sweary boy, but... That's a pretty big city. And Spain just... Blocked me out of it. It was quite rude, Spain. That was very rude of Spain. It would be a shame if someone paid a large invasion to attack. I'm just going to finish off whatever this disgusting blob is right here. I think it'll accept an Altanium because it looks disgusting. And I think someone needs to put it out of its misery. Yeah, that was disgusting. If, if a state is... If a state like Fazan right now had just been invaded and lost a bunch of providences, they're most likely going to accept your Altanium. 
even if they didn't lose any provinces, they still probably will accept your Altanium. Because Fazan, they're just a disgusting mess that's asking to be put down. Like what's going on here in Africa. It's disgusting. And someone needs to put it down. Yeah. You never usually want to look at this this mess over here when it's late game. Or the time frame of where I'm playing this. I think I can get revenge on Dahomey now. I'm actually going to do that. Just going to gather everything in. What is that? Suffax. And I'm going to invade Dahomey because it's a meme. And I want my revenge. And also we're pretty thick now. We have all of North Africa. Well, pretty much all of North Africa if you don't look over here. I should invade this. This listen. I don't think it's gonna. Yeah, they're not gonna listen to an Altanium. They're too small to do that. Unlike Fazan, they they were dying and needed to be put out of their misery. Oh my god, there's people just just, just screeching outside. I just love screeching. <laughs> so they screech. Oh man. It's terrible. They screech. And it's horrible sounding. It's like someone's scratching against your ears. It's so annoying. Uh, should I get revenge on the homie with this? Oh, wow, we have a lot to assimilate. It's worth a shot. Yeah, I think I can get my revenge on Dahomey with this. They're pretty small. They don't really look that fit to repel an invasion of 4,000 men. They're, they're probably going to die. Yeah, it just looks like it. Even if their buddy, uh, whatever this thing is right here, uh, let me see that. Cano uh, comes to the rescue. I, st I still think I can repel him, because, you know, it's Dahomey. I gotta get my revenge. Also, this video might take a while to upload, because the last one took, like, two hours to get uploaded. Hopefully this one doesn't take two hours to get uploaded. And, uh, yeah. I, I want to get rid of this. You see this thing right here? Yeah, that's that's disgusting. Yeah, I, 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 I don't like whatever this thing is. Uh, Spain. Uh, he made a bit of a disgusting mess. Or, just, it's just a, I don't know what to call this. It's just a, a small thing that just exists now. Because it died, and there's just a piece of it laying somewhere, and that's it. That's the piece of it laying somewhere. Yeah, that that wasn't very nice, Spain. That's a pretty big city right there, of 38,000 people. It would be nice if I had that. We're overall getting pretty close to becoming a great power. And I'll end this series when my uh, state becomes a great power. Even if it is in the midst of warfare. And that war looks pretty nice. I'm still gonna, you know, end the series because it's a great power now. The joke's gone. It's a, it's a great power. It, it's sus. The empire of sus. You know what? We own all of North Africa. I think I can name myself that. All caps. Empire of Sus. There we go. Look at that. It stretches along the North African coastline. Like the majestic angel it is. It is beautiful. And now it needs to kill Dahomey. Because Dahomey was mean to it earlier. And it, now it needs to die. I don't... Oh... Look at this disgusting mess of what's going on over here. 
This is just disgusting. This area here where I'm at usually always becomes disgusting. Like 300 turns in if the Ottomans don't die. If the Ottomans um, manage to kill Byzantium, this area will remain mostly owned by the Ottomans. But if the Ottomans fail or never kill Byzantium, they're going to get invaded by everybody. Because, yeah. I might do an Ottoman playthrough of this game because it's actually really fun. Also is Brandenburg too. Brandenburg's pretty cool. Castile I might do. If you guys want to see more of this game, let me know in the comments because I have other ideas for other series. But if you guys want to see this game, I'll make plans for another series. And it overall is pretty fun. Especially, there's a few tribal states in America that are pretty fun. But overall, I've never really played too much of that. Except for Potawatomi, though. They're pretty cool. I'd have to say they're the coolest American tribe that you can play in, play as in this game. Uh, I want to really finish off whatever this thing is. I can't even call that tennis anymore. That's Tripoli. And it's disgusting. Alright, let's finish off whatever the homie's doing. I never liked the homie. I played it actually once, and I hated it. Oh, wow. Wow. You see that? They just slapped my 4,000 troops out of the water. Wow. Maybe peace out, and they're not even going to accept it. You know what? No. Kano, you sided with the homie, and now you have to die. I'm going to let the homie live because I have to kill the homie. No one else can kill the homie except me. Because after that little display, the homie has to die now. Like, I cannot allow the homie to live after that. I'm going to come in with 10,000 troops. There's no way the homie is going to be able to repel that. There's no way the homie can repel that. I'm just going to send everything to go at Kano. Because you can't side with the homie. It's the homie. No. And now they have to die. Because they sided with the homie. Yeah. The game was rigged from the start, Kano. There's just no way of doing it. The homie is stupid if they join in all these wars. Because then they'll die. But if the homie's that stupid, then I don't even want my revenge. Just let them get picked off by a bunch of other states. Oh yeah, they're joining in them. They're joining in those wars. Yeah, the homie, I, I think it's about time that war ends. Because if I invade now, they're going to die. But there's no way I'm going to make it in time. So, it, it just wouldn't be worth it. And the homie is still fighting. Wow. I don't think Kano's going to be fighting for a while. You know, I think I actually can make it. I'm going to go... I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to beat up the homie. Once and for all. Oh, well, there's some dogs. There's some dogs outside. I really want my revenge on the homie after that little display. And I'm going to bring even more troops. I'm going to train up the biggest army anyone could possibly imagine. And the homie is going to die. I Actually, no. I'll let the homie die. I'll let the African states down there pick off the homie. And they'll die that way. But right now, I need to assimilate the North African coastal strip. And I also want to eat Tripoli. Because it looks quite tasty. And I need to get myself assimilated. Before um, any revolts start happening. Also, it's almost turn, uh, what, what is it called? One, what is it? 1,500. Then it's going to be really, uh, you know, imperialistic around here. Because everyone's going to have to be colonizing something then. And everybody should actually be doing that now. And I could easily get in the game of that by colonizing, uh, southern lands here in, uh, Africa. 
but um, I'm not going to do that, because I want to invade Italy. I need to get some of that pizza, and I hear Italy has some of that pizza. It'll be really sussy pizza once I have it. Oh, what? Austria? Well, that's weird. Usually Austria dies. I don't think that's going to last very long. I think, I think that was a misclick, right, Austria? Wasn't that a misclick? No, Austria meant that. What about you, Dahomey? Wasn't that a misclick when you declared war on me? Wink, wink. Wasn't that a misclick? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, wow, they beat, they beat up Kano. Looks like they didn't even bother killing Dahomey yet. I could go down there and kill them all, or I could just kill the homie, because that's what I'd want to do. But, nope. I need to get myself assimilated. I'm not really sure how long this episode has been going on for, because I can't see how long I've been recording, because this recorder sucks. So, I might have to end the episode. And I think I might. You know, because it's been recording for a little bit. And there's really other things I should be doing instead of playing as... Oh, it disappears. As sus. There's really other things I could be doing. But, you know, I think playing as sus is actually pretty fun. I really thought this would be boring, but it's actually pretty fun. Despite all the border gore, it's not that bad. If you just try to ignore it, you could get away with it. But ignoring this... Is pretty bad. You know. Oh. Wow. That I've never seen that happen before. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, there's a reason you should ignore that. Just try to ignore what's going on over there. Don't don't look at that. Don't look at don't question why Savoy has anthons. Don't look at what's going on with these islands over here, because it, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that disgusting speck right there. That's all that matters. Oh, Austria came to invade. Oh, wow. That really wasn't a misclick, wasn't it, Austria? Hmm? Wow, it wasn't Austria. Looks like now I'm about to get... Invaded by Austria. Gonna get invaded by Austria now. That's how fun is it? Mm. Austria. I have to waste my precious assimilation money because of an Austrian invasion. Wow, Austria. What a high class move. Real, uh. Oh my god. I can't resist saying no. It doesn't even work. But I just couldn't resist saying no. I couldn't resist saying no there. I had to join a coalition war against the homie. I just can't resist it. I just gotta. Of course, it didn't work though, because I had a, a truce with them. Anyways, uh, you know... I think I'm going to end this recording here. The, uh... Borders are getting a bit bad. But, uh, you know... I think it's just a good place to end this episode here. Because look at, look, look at that. that that's, that's pretty nice. If, if you just try to ignore whatever that that's annoying spec is... You could really see the true beauty of the Empire of Sus. And its glorious dominance over the southern Mediterranean. It, it's really a sight to behold. And, uh, yeah. Seems like a good place to end the episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. I desperately need subs. Um, we've been hitting a lot lately. There's been a weird glitch with YouTube that's been going on right now. Where my subs, I think... No, it's probably not a glitch. People are just unsubscribing. I was at 25 subscribers this morning when I woke up. And now I'm at, what, 30-something? And, uh, yeah, I'm not really that surprised, you know?
But thank you guys so much for refilling that giant sub gap that happened. Because, you know, that's, um, pretty bad. I was at 30 subs before. 33, I think. And it went down to 25, and it might do that again. It's either YouTube doing that, or people are unsubscribing. And if it's people unsubscribing, well then, how rude. But if it's YouTube, I want to know why YouTube's doing that. Also, my views are glitching out, too. Like, I think... I think my first animation had about 30 views, and they just cut it back to a few. They cut it back to, I think it's at 18, 19, 20 right now. But it was at 30 before. I could just be really, I could just be going crazy right now. But if you guys monitor this a bit, you might be able to see this. And two seconds later, YouTube just decides to never do this again. But whatever it is, YouTube, stop cutting my views. It's probably not the subscribers they're cutting, because people are unsubscribing, but it's the views, YouTube. Stop cutting my views. Alright, I, that could just be a crazy mis that theory that I have right there, about the views thing and the subscriber thing. But, uh, yeah, this video's been going on for probably pretty long right now. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and, um, I'm cutting it off.